what's good guys, it's Lightning91 here, and this is going to be a Pokemon TCGO online, or TCGO video, and I'm going to be doing some versus battle, I'm going to be using this deck, this deck has been one that I have enjoyed so much, it is made around Ariados and its ability Poisonous Nest, once during your turn you may Use this ability, both active Pokemon, except for Grass-type Pokemon, are now poisoned. So you poison the Pokemon, and then you use Sceptile's Unseen Claw. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this does 70 more damage. So you're doing that, and then usually you run a Muscle Band on there. Just doing massive amounts of damage. I run Unknown just for its ability, Farewell Letter, so I can draw one card by discarding it. Uh, I run Brizion for Bailout to get back the Unknowns and for Prize Count in case I'm in a jam. Uh, same with Vespaquin, and it's a free retreat Pokemon, so you can just switch it easily. I run Venusaur just to be bulky and fat, and that can just eat up hits, and then heal itself to, if I'm in a jam, I can use it to get to a position where I can start attacking and dealing a lot of damage. And it can do a good amount of damage too, so. Also, I run Energy Recycler, Ultra Ball, one Ultra Ball, two Level Balls, two Battle Reporters, three Professor Birch's Observation, uh, two Lysander, two Skyla, two Shauna, Two Pokemon Center Lady, two Giovanni Scheme, one Bridget, one Forest of Giant Plant, or two Forest of Giant Plants, uh, one Float Stone, two Muscle Band, and you got four DCE, one Special uh, Herbal Energy, and 14 Grass Energy. So, that's the deck. Now, let's get into a battle. This deck has always been fun for me to use, so. We are going up against Swagbag06. And he's running a Psychic, Colorless, and Dark deck. Let's see what we can do here. I want the coin flip. Let's see. What do I want to do? Uh, I'm not going to go first. Usually it doesn't matter. You can just, depending on your preferences. And this is a horrible start for me. This is the one thing that can happen that's kind of problematic. Is the fact that if you start with an unknown, you can really be hurting. Luckily, I'm going second, so he cannot attack me. And I do have supporters here to use. It looks like a Gardevoir deck. Maybe Gardevoir or Delayed deck. Because I see the Ralts. We've got a Secret Rare Trainer's Mail. Wow, it's pretty nice looking. You have to pull a Professor's Letter. Use a Level Ball. I use a Level Ball. And he's going to get, let's see what he's going to get. To get out of Curlia. So, definitely his main attacker, it looks like it's going to be either Gardevoir or uh, Delayed. He attaches a Psychic Energy to the Ralt and ends turn his turn. Okay, so let's see what I want to do. Do I want a Giovanni? Draw until you have five cards in your hand. No, I'm not going to Giovanni. I'm going to do uh, Professor Birch's Observation. Just to get different hand and see what I can get uh, through Tails. But I get a v two Venusaurs. And a Spinarak. Along with a Lysander. I'm going to Farewell Letter This Unknown out draw one card and I 
pull up like the Wrath energy, so I'm just gonna attach it to the Venusaur. Start building that up, and I'm gonna end turn. I don't want to play the second Venusaur just in case something goes on, so. So he evolves the active Ralts into Curlia. And he attaches the psychic energy to the Curlia. And he flips two tails, doing nothing. It was double slap they used and got both tails so it does nothing. So I'm going to Skyla. I drew the top deck that. I'm going to Skyla, let's what do I want? Could Bridget or Shauna. Or I could go with, with a level ball. Just get some poison damage off. I'm going to Shauna. Drive a Shauna. For next turn. And I'm just going to end turn there. Fortunately, I didn't get any basic energy, so let's see what he's able to do. He's got a Woobat on the bench now, and also, let's see, what is that? He's got a Mill Tank. This is certainly an interesting deck. She attaches a Psychic Energy to the Woobat and tiptoe steps to draw two, two, uh, two cards. Because he has two Psychic Energies attached to him. So I'm going to play the Spinarak, play Shauna, Grab a Sceptile EX, beautiful top deck. And I'm going to play... Hmm. Just for the fact that I want it to be... I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to... Have this Sceptile set up in time, because I don't have any Aeridos right now. I'm going to attach that Draft Energy to the Venus on end turn. He plays a DCE to the Ralts on the bench. And then Professor Sycamores for 7, discarding a pretty good amount. I think 2 or 3 there. He, he plays the Unknown. He does play Unknown too, so he's going to discard that and draw a card. He's going to play Level Ball, probably to get a Swoobat or a Curlia. See what he gets. He's going to go for another unknown to try to get another card. Let's see if he does play that down. Yep, he does. Top decks again. That unknown card is very useful in many decks. It's just something that you can use to sacrifice, and it's good Ultra Ball fodder sometimes, so or discarding fodder, so it does help a lot. He's going to attach a Muscle Band to Curlia. See what he does here. I wonder if he's trying to set something up. And he's gonna dump and gets tails on both again. So this command is not getting any luck on the flips. So I topped up a level ball, which is very nice. I can get out an Ariados. Play that. So I'm going to poison nest, Oops. poison nest, and poison. Even though I poison the unknown, the unknown is basically something that I just want to put, uh, get it out of the way. So now I'm going to set up my septile to get it ready, and I'm going to end turn after attaching grass energy to the septile. see what he does. He is going to play down a Golet and then attach a DCE to it. Or double color, I think. 
He does finally get a head roll and he does 80 damage due to muscle band and my weakness. So he gets a prize, which right now is fine. I'm going to send up my Venusaur because I have a double colors here. I can just do some damage and get ready to set up my set pile because I still need a muscle band. Be doing a lot to that mill tank. So. I'm going to go and use attach the double colors to the Venusaur and Jungle Hammer. Doing 90 and a healing 30. So knockout and I'm going to take a prize and I pull up an Ultra Ball. Which isn't bad. Isn't the greatest. If I could get a Skyla, that'd be great. I could get a Muscle Band. He's going to evolve his... Golette into Golur. So, does that have the added ability? Yes, this counters my ability, basically, if I remember correctly. I will not be able to use Poison Nest due to its second ability. It has the Ancient Trait ability, which prevents all of your opponent's abilities. So, this is an interesting deck. This is one that I have not seen before, so it's kind of cool to see how my deck's going to match up against it, and how it is able to counter it. So we use Trainer's Mail, and didn't see what he was doing. Let's see what he's doing. He has the double color list on here. So we need another one to get to be able to attack, so. Let's see what he's looking for. Nope. Is he going inactive? Nope, there it goes. So one thing is kind of a little off sometimes with the inactive thing. It's a little too short of a time that oh he's gonna play Eva Soda for let's see he's either, either gonna be one of the Ralts or the oh he's gonna be the Ralts on the bench. He's gonna evolve into a Curlia. Let's see what he does now. That one has a double colors on it, so wonder if he's got that set up for delayed. That's what it's looking like. Still deciding. Taking pretty long. Looks like he's got some sort of plan he's got trying to do, so. Let me let me know what other decks you want me to do, because I'll be happy to try them. Just send me the deck list, and I'll try to make them. So he's going to pass a turn to me. So I'm going to hatch a grass energy. Oh, he just forfeited. Huh. Okay, then. Well, that happened. So I'm going to try to get another in. Now I got 50 more coins as I. the versus rewards. I'll probably have a battle with one of my friends soon. If he can get. Uh, he's trying to pick to Skype, so. And he's a newer player, so it's kind of cool to see how he's going to try to what he does with the game and I'm basically going to be trying to teach him and show him different ways and see he's kind of creative with his decks too so it'll be fun to see okay let's get another battle going this will probably be the last one depending on how long it is and it's Miss JT Let's see 
I got he heads on the coin flip, and I'm not going to go first again, because I prefer not to be... Oh, that is an interesting start. I got the Sceptile right off the bat, which may not be the best thing because it is a fire deck, it looks like. But you never know. Probably an Ultra Ball. It's a dragon deck. Maybe a Mega Requi or Mega Charizard deck. I'm going to Farewell Letter. Discard the unknown and beautiful level ball for a spinnerack. Oh, and he just forfeited, or she just forfeited. So mystery thing. Let's see what they done. I got 50 tokens for that mystery box. So. Let's try to get another battle in. Let me see how long I have been there recording. Okay, I should be fine. Let me get another one in. This will be the last one since that one didn't take much at all. Dark fighting electric deck. I don't even know how to say that that name, so I'm not even gonna try. I do think this new updated version of the online is a little bit off with how you have to drag and uh, drop the thing instead of just clicking to play it. it makes it a little bit more difficult. Okay, so this is an interesting one. I'm actually going to start with the Blizzion first, and then have the other two on the bench, and he's as he mulligans two in a row. I saw a Marowak in there, a Zorwark. Well, this is, he's got a lot of old school. I play Unlimited because it's a lot, you get some different decks. May not be as competitive, but. It's kind of a good thing because then you don't see all the same decks over and over again. I will play some standard stuff and some like the in between. So two unknowns, so that kind of helps. So I can bail out with Bruzion. And he starts with the Zorua, and you get level ball. to a Cubone, it looks like he's going to be playing a Break deck, which I would love to see how this works. I wonder if he's playing both Zoro, uh, Zoroark Break and Q, uh, Marowak Break. That would be very interesting. He attaches a Darkness Energy to the Zorua and end turn. As I top deck a Spinarak, beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Farewell Letter. One unknown, probably both unknowns. Yeah, I'm going to Farewell Letter, both unknowns. Pull up a Giovanni. I'm going to attach a Grass Energy. I'm going to Shauna so that's not bad I can use the professor next turn and attach the grass energy so he draw he used another level ball 
probably to get either another Zorak or a Marowak. That's an older Marowak before XY. So you attach the fighting energy to it and use the ascension. So he evolves into Zoroark, discarding the or still keeping the darkness energy on it. So that's definitely an interesting play. So I'm going to use Professor Professor Birch's observation. See what I can, and I get the heads, so I get the good amounts. And perfect. I'm going to play Force Giant Plants, Level Ball. Grab an Ariados. Play my Ariados. And Poison Nest. I'm going to enter in there. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do and what how he's going to play this deck. He uses Break, so he does have the Marowak Break card, and he attaches a DCE to the uh, Zor and does 70 damage. He's still Poison. So I'm going to, going to attach a Grass Energy to the Brizion. I'm going to use Bailout. To grab my two unknowns and put them in my hand. So the next turn I can use them. He's going to Skyla. See what he gets. He gets a Professor Oak's new theory. Do mind jack for 70 for the knockout. So I'm going to send up my Sceptile, which is now ready to be attacking. I would like to have a muscle band on it, but oh, and speaking of the muscle band, I just top decked it. That couldn't have gone better. Wow. Doing a farewell letter. Farewell letter again. And I'm just going to attack with Unseen Claw. Doing 150. Knocking it out. Taking a prize. And it's an Aridos. And up comes the Marowak Break. That has a resistance to water, not, or a weakness to water, not grass. So, use Professor Oak's new theory, draw a new hand, and use his bone ring, and get the head on one, doing six again. I'm going to use Professor Birch's new theory. And get heads. So I'm going to play down a combi. Level ball. Get a Vespaquin. And he just forfeited. 20 coins. Very nice. So yeah, guys, that was three wins, and got the prize, two more tournament tickets. So yeah, guys, I'll pro probably do it doing some different decks. Give me any deck suggestions you have, give me the deck list, and I'll try to build them. So until next time, guys, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.